In today's Your Healthy Family, I want to let you know about an event that's happening this Saturday evening in downtown Colorado Springs, the Pioneers Museum. It's an annual tradition that will continue. It allows our community to come together and celebrate the lives of those who've passed away. The Trees of Life event is hosted by Pikes Peak Hospice and Palliative Care, and this Saturday will mark its 38th year. It's a healing event. I think people leave this event feeling uh, connected and supported um, and just feel like they're not alone, and that's so important as you go through the grieving process. Um, every experience of grief is very unique to the person who is experiencing that loss because their relationship with the person they lost is very unique. So lots of times we feel like no one could possibly understand what I'm going through. Um, and that may be true, and yet when we come together as a community in an event like this where there could be 200 or 300 people, it really does surround everyone with a kindness and compassion that's palpable. The event starts at 5 p.m. We have a one hour ceremony where we read the names of folks that have passed this year. And again, that's part of the uh, celebration. And, and at the end of the celebration, we end up uh, lighting trees around the Colorado Springs Pioneers Museum and up and down to hone as well. And those lights stay on through, uh, through Christmas as well. So it's a, it's a great opportunity for uh, remembering those that have passed. One unique tree has special meaning. There's also a tree that we light in red, white, and blue lights to remember those who have served us in the military or any other type of public sector. So that's a very important tree. The setting is beautiful, the Pioneers Museum, um, the grounds are lovely. It's a really nice environment for people to come together and feel connected. The event is free and open to the public, not just to those connected to Pikes Peak Hospice and Palliative Care. You don't have to sign up, you can just show up. Um, and if you want to contribute a name, we will absolutely put that name uh, into the basket and read your loved one's name out loud. Pikes Peak is the only nonprofit hospice and palliative care in El Paso and Teller counties. They don't turn people away. And this event is one way you can also support the organization. This uh, is one of our opportunities for people to actually support financially. Uh, the uh, foundation, the foundation supports the operation side and uh, we have these uh, ornaments that uh, people could actually purchase at the event. They could actually purchase them online as well and uh, we en encourage people to uh, purchase those, hang them on their, on their tree this year. Uh, they can have the name of a loved one engraved on the ornament as well. So it's just an opportunity to uh, support the work that, that um, our care teams provide uh, families every day. It's, it's, we like to say hospice is about living. There's a special symbolism behind the ornament. It's about nature. Nature is a big theme in life and uh, trees have deep roots. And as we go through life and we have close relationships with people, um, those relationships remain deeply rooted within us um, and certainly within that relationship that has now evolved and changed because the person we lost is no longer here uh, in the physical form. And there's a reason this community event is held to kick off the holidays. Feeling the loss, you know, um, it could be someone's first uh, Thanksgiving meal um, without the person at the head of the table. That's something that is really hard. Uh, for a family to deal with. Um, it could be, you know, the first new year that they're ringing in without, you know, a, a spouse, a child, um, a sibling. And so when we surround those people who have lost someone with kindness and love and compassion, which is what we do here every day, and then also at this Trees of Life event, it really does make a difference. This is the 38th year. People have come out year after year after year. And it's important to note that it's not only for people that have been on Pikes Peak Hospice Services. This event is open to the entire community. If you have experienced a loss, you are welcome and invited, and we would love to see you there. For your healthy family, I'm Ira Cronin. For more stories, head to yourhealthyfamily.com.